Have you ever had those moments where your body just feels off? A random chill, sudden exhaustion? Perhaps your body is trying to tell you something? Well, it's your lucky day, because today we're cracking the code on those mysterious signals. Now think of your body as an antenna, picking up signals of a strong shift within you, a spiritual awakening. We'll guide you through 10 clear signs that suggest your spirit is leveling up. These are clues to a deeper transformation happening inside you. Curious? We bet you are. Pay attention to these signs. Some might feel weird or even a bit scary, but we're here to help you understand on how to deal with each one. Ready to unlock the mysteries your body is whispering about? Let's dive in. First off, what is a spiritual awakening? It's like a major level up in how you see and understand everything around you. You start questioning everything you thought you knew and look for deeper truths about yourself and the world. It's about letting go of old ways and discovering the real you. But let's get real. It's not all calm and blissful. Waking up spiritually can get pretty intense and confusing. And yes, it can even throw your body for a loop. Why? Because everything about you, mind, emotions, spirit, body, is all connected. When one part shifts, the others feel it too. Think of your body as packed with energy that's always moving. During a spiritual awakening, this energy starts vibrating differently. Your body has to keep up with this new vibration, which can lead to some real physical changes. You should also note that everyone's experience is different. You might notice some of these signs, all of them or none. There's no one size fits all here. Now, moving on to the first sign, wild energy swings. One minute, you're so tired you could sleep for days, and the next, you're ready to run a marathon. This isn't just random. It's a sign that your inner energy is adjusting to new levels, kind of like updating your computer's software. There's going to be some rebooting going on. During these swings, you might also experience bursts of creativity or sudden clarity about issues that previously felt murky. Embrace these moments as they are often windows into your evolving consciousness and opportunities to harness new insights. When you suddenly feel exhausted, it's your body's way of telling you to slow down, to allow space for new energy and let go of the old stuff. On the other hand, when you're vibrating with energy, that's your signal to use it creatively or spiritually. But now you might wonder, how do you handle these changes? Well, first things first, you should respect them. Rest if you need to, without feeling bad about it. And if you're energized, do something that feeds your soul. Drinking plenty of water is key, as it helps manage these new energies. Try grounding exercises too, like walking barefoot on the grass or embracing a tree to keep your energy stable. Connecting with nature in this way can help you feel more balanced and anchored amid these fluctuations. Remember, these shifts aren't forever. They're your first step to a new balance. By honoring these energy ups and downs, you're embracing your spiritual growth. The next sign is often subtle but powerful. A sudden, deep understanding that comes from your gut, not your head. You might grasp a complex issue, predict something before it happens, or see right through someone's words to their true intent. This isn't about brain smarts, it's a gut-level insight that pops up out of the blue. You might feel warmth in your solar plexus, a tingle at the back of your neck, or an openness in your chest when these moments hit. These sensations are your intuition speaking, that inner guide linking you to a bigger wisdom. As you spiritually awaken, this inner guide sharpens and becomes more trustworthy. To enhance this intuition, carve out quiet moments each day. Meditation, even short sessions, can heighten your sensitivity 
to these internal clues. Nature walks away from daily noise boost this connection too. Pay attention to your first reactions to people or situations. Often, your body knows things before your brain kicks in. Journaling can also unlock insights you weren't even aware of by sidestepping your logical brain and tapping into deeper wisdom. As you manage through these signs of spiritual awakening, integration is crucial. This means making these powerful experiences part of your regular life, turning spiritual insights into everyday wisdom. Trusting your gut can lead to decisions that align more closely with your true self, enhancing overall well-being. Incorporate mindfulness practices such as deep breathing exercises to stay connected with your intuitive voice. You're not just a spiritual entity, you're also physical, living in a real world. Engage in down-to-earth activities like gardening, pottery, or cooking. These activities help root spiritual energies into your daily life, merging the extraordinary with the ordinary. While spiritual experiences can be captivating, real growth often unfolds in everyday moments. How you relate to family, perform your job, or interact with strangers. These are the true tests of your evolving consciousness. Create a supportive environment for yourself, perhaps by rearranging your space to suit your new sensitivities or setting boundaries with those who sap your energy. Surround yourself with things that uplift your spirit, whether it's art, music, or open spaces. Seeking guidance can also be invaluable. Consider connecting with a spiritual mentor who has experience on this path and can offer insight. Their experience and wisdom can provide clarity and direction when your own intuition is still developing. Joining a community of like-minded folks can provide a space to share and learn without judgment. Knowing you're not alone in these experiences can bring immense comfort. The third sign that might pop up during a spiritual awakening is like your body hitting the reset button. Think sudden weird digestion issues, unexpected skin breakouts, or feeling like you're catching a cold. These aren't just random nuisances. They're actually your body's way of doing a deep clean, out with the old junk and in with the new, as they say. As Marcus Aurelius once said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Just like shedding outdated beliefs and emotional baggage, your body ditches stored toxins, both physical and energetic leftovers from past experiences. It's like a big spring cleaning, but for your body, making room for fresh, positive energy. During this detox phase, treat your body right. Eat clean, lots of fruits, veggies, and grains. Cut down on the junk food, booze, and coffee. And as mentioned earlier, drinking plenty of water is also key. It's like giving your inner systems a good flush. To help this cleansing along, try some gentle self-care. Dry brushing, Epsom salt baths, or relaxing in an infrared sauna can kickstart your body's waste removal system. On the energy side, practices like Reiki, acupuncture, or sound healing can help clear out old energy and keep things flowing smoothly. Understanding that this cleansing process is part of a deeper transformation can provide comfort. Recognize that as your body releases physical and energetic toxins, you're also letting go of old patterns, traumas, and negative emotions. This purge can sometimes be uncomfortable, but it's essential for making space for new growth and higher vibrations. In addition to physical detox, consider emotional and mental cleansing. Journaling your thoughts and feelings can help release pent-up emotions and bring clarity. Practicing forgiveness, both for yourself and others, is another powerful tool. It allows you to release the hold of past hurts, making way for healing and inner peace. Engage in mindful practices like meditation or yoga to support this cleansing process. These activities not only help in calming your mind, 
but also in aligning your body's energy with your spiritual progress. Connecting with nature, whether it's a walk in the park or simply sitting under a tree, can also be incredibly grounding and purifying. Remember, this detox phase is just a phase. By supporting your body through it, you're setting the stage for a healthier, more balanced you physically, emotionally, and spiritually. It's a necessary step to reach toward the better version of yourself. Trust the process and be patient with yourself. Every release brings you closer to a state of harmony and enlightenment. The fourth sign of a spiritual awakening might have you feeling hot and cold, literally. Out of nowhere, you could experience heat waves that feel like hot flashes or sudden, unexplained chills. These temperature swings are more than just weird quirks. They're deeply rooted in many spiritual traditions. Heat often points to the awakening of Kundalini energy, a powerful force that starts at the base of your spine and spirals up. Cold sensations? They might mean spiritual entities are nearby or that your higher chakras are opening up. When these shifts hit, take a moment to breathe deep. Ground yourself by imagining roots extending from your feet deep into the earth, helping stabilize and integrate these new energies. Whether you're feeling overheated or chilled, keeping hydrated is crucial. Water isn't just refreshing. It helps spread this energy evenly through your body, helping you manage these new sensations more smoothly. Understanding these temperature changes as part of your spiritual awakening can help you navigate them with greater ease. Heat waves can signify your inner fire burning away old, stagnant energy, making room for new growth and higher consciousness. Chills, on the other hand, might indicate a connection to higher spiritual realms or a purification process where lower vibrations are being cleared. During these moments, embracing self-care rituals can be incredibly beneficial. If you feel hot, cooling practices like drinking iced herbal teas, taking cool showers, or spending time in a shaded, breezy environment can help. Conversely, if you're experiencing chills, warm herbal teas, cozy blankets, and warm baths infused with essential oils like ginger or eucalyptus can provide comfort. Listening to your body and honoring these sensations is vital. Engaging in practices such as yoga or tai chi can help harmonize your energy flow, balancing the hot and cold extremes. Meditative breathing techniques, such as alternate nostril breathing, can also assist in regulating your body's temperature and aligning your energy centers. The fifth sign you might notice during a spiritual awakening is unmistakable. Spontaneous shivers or goosebumps. These aren't your typical reactions to a chilly breeze or a touching scene in a movie. Instead, they happen out of nowhere, often when you're around powerful energies or when something spiritually significant is happening. Think of it like your body giving you a nudge. Pay attention, this is important. As Winston Churchill once said, men occasionally stumble over the truth, but most of them pick themselves up and hurry off as if nothing had happened. Similarly, when you experience these sudden shivers, it's like stumbling upon a deep truth. It's a clear sign from your body stating, yes, this resonates. Whenever you feel these goosebumps, take a moment. Reflect on what's happening around you or what thoughts were passing through your mind. Writing down these moments can be incredibly revealing. Over time, you might start to see patterns that offer deeper insights into your spiritual journey. These unexpected whispers from your body are not just mere coincidences. They are signals that your consciousness is tuning into higher frequencies and truths. This heightened sensitivity is your intuitive faculties becoming more active, guiding you towards a deeper understanding of your spiritual path. 
To make the most of these experiences, consider creating a ritual around these moments of heightened awareness. Light a candle, sit in a quiet space, and meditate on the sensations you're experiencing. This practice can help you delve deeper into the messages being conveyed by your intuition. Additionally, sharing these experiences with a trusted friend or spiritual mentor can provide new perspectives and insights. Sometimes, discussing your spiritual experiences with others can bring clarity and validation, reinforcing your understanding and confidence in your awakening process. The sixth sign of awakening is a strong amplification of your senses. Suddenly, lights seem to blaze brighter, sounds resonate louder, and every texture feels more intense. It's like the universe has cranked up the volume on everything around you. This sensory boost usually means your energy field is expanding, making you more sensitive to the subtleties of the world. This heightened awareness, though fascinating, can sometimes be overwhelming. Crowded places might become too intense, or unexpected noises could jar you. But remember, as Nietzsche said, what does not kill me makes me stronger. This enhanced sensitivity is not a flaw, but an invitation to learn how to deal with your environment more skillfully. To manage this, consider creating a personal sanctuary, a place where you control what you hear, see, and feel. Decorate it with colors that soothe you and scents that calm. When out and about, noise-canceling headphones can be a lifesaver. Engaging in mindfulness meditation can also help you become an observer of these sensations rather than a victim to them, allowing you to experience them without distress. Heart palpitations or a tight feeling in your chest can be startling. While it's important to get these symptoms checked by a doctor to ensure they're not heart-related, they might also be signs of spiritual awakening, specifically the opening of your heart chakra. This energy center, linked with love and compassion, could be transforming. In the wise words of Marcus Aurelius himself, the soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. And in this case, your thoughts of love might be expanding your heart's capacity. During these moments, simple acts like deep rhythmic breathing can make a big difference. Place your hand over your heart and breathe slowly. Inhale love and light. Exhale any discomfort. Gentle yoga poses that open the heart like the supported fish pose, can also ease tension. Engaging with heart healing crystals, such as rose quartz or green aventurine, during meditation or as jewelry may bring comfort. Remember, both your physical and energetic heart need care as they adjust to new vibrations of love. Mysterious aches and pains that don't stem from any physical ailment could be your eighth sign. These discomforts, especially persistent ones in your head, neck, shoulders, or back, might be clues to energetic shifts within your body. As higher frequencies stir within you, they might hit blocks in your energy flow, much like water struggles through a clogged pipe. Thoreau once said, it's not what you look at that matters, it's what you see. Here, seeing beyond the physical, can help understand these pains. To ease these aches, consider gentle movement practices like yoga, tai chi, or qigong, which help energy flow and reduce blockages. Techniques such as acupuncture or acupressure target specific energy pathways, offering relief. Also, explore any emotional or psychological aspects that might be contributing to your discomfort. Energy healing or talking therapies can assist in this deeper dive. And remember, if the pain persists, ensure to rule out physical causes with a healthcare professional to continue exploring these spiritual dimensions with confidence. 
The ninth sign of a spiritual awakening might mess with your sleep schedule. If you have ever found yourself wide awake at 3 a.m. or the opposite, sleeping more than a bear in winter, then guess what? You might also have dreams so wild they feel like a movie. These shifts in sleep aren't just random. They're a big deal on your spiritual path. Historically, the wee hours between 2 o'clock and 4 a.m. are seen as powerful times when the spiritual world comes a bit closer. Waking up then could be your cue to dive into some deep thinking or meditation. On the flip side, if you're feeling like you need heaps of sleep, as though your energy is busy with some serious inner renovations, then perhaps you can think of it as being in a cocoon, like a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. You need that downtime to transform. And about those intense dreams, think of them as your mind's way of dealing with all the changes, or maybe even picking up hints from beyond our usual senses. Keeping a dream journal could help you spot what your dreams are trying to tell you. This does wonders for everyone. To get better sleep during these times, try winding down with some gentle yoga, reading something uplifting, or a few drops of lavender oil. Cut down on screen time before bed and make your bedroom a calm, clutter-free sanctuary. Though these sleep changes can be tough, they're really special chances for growth and deeper self-connection. Our tenth sign steps away from the physical and dives into the world of the extraordinary, synchronicities. These are those bizarre coincidences that seem way too pointed to be random. Maybe you keep seeing the same number or bump into symbols or people that feel like they were placed in your path by some unseen hand. Your body might react strongly to these moments, a chill, a gut feeling, or a warmth spreading through you, as if it knows something deep down. Synchronicities are often seen as signs that you're on the right track, hints that there's more to our world than what we see. They're like nods from the universe, confirming you're where you need to be. When these moments happen, take a beat to think about what you were doing or feeling right then. There's usually a clue in that moment about what it all means. Keeping track of these synchronicities can be really revealing. For instance, you could write down what happens, how you felt, and any gut feelings about what it might mean. Then, you could contemplate them and meditate upon them. Over time, you might start to see patterns that offer some deep insights. By staying open to these signs and responding to them, you're not just going through life. You're actively engaging with the universe in your spiritual journey. Now think closely. Have you spotted any of these signs yourself? How has your body been a guide in your spiritual journey? Drop your stories in the comments. Your experiences might just shine a light for someone else who needs it. But let's be clear. While these signs might hint at spiritual shifts, they can also signal health issues. Always put your well-being first and talk to a doctor if something feels off. This chat isn't a substitute for medical advice. And if this video sparked your curiosity, hit that subscribe button for more insights into spiritual growth and self-discovery. Don't stop here. Check out our other videos to deepen your spiritual understanding.